Welcome to the State of Health. I'm your host, Karen Bowling, Cabinet Secretary of the West Virginia Department of Health and Human Resources. In today's show, we're going to take a look at ways to live a healthier life, plus hear from a child abuse survivor and what he says people need to do. Then we'll explore something new called Safe at Home West Virginia. Now let's take a look at strategies for a healthy lifestyle. We at DHHR are constantly out in the communities raising awareness about healthy habits. For example, as part of American Heart Month in February, we teamed up with Thomas Memorial Hospital in South Charleston to remind people about the importance of preventing cardiovascular disease, which can lead to heart attacks and heart failures. Nearly 14% of West Virginia adults have cardiovascular disease, making our state number one in the country, and that needs to change. Our state health officer and Bureau for Public Health Commissioner, Dr. Raul Gupta, spoke about the risk factors such as smoking, obesity, diabetes, lack of physical activity, as well as high cholesterol and high blood pressure. And Thomas Health System is doing its part. They are hosting free health clinics every month at the hospital. It is important that residents know their numbers and take steps to prevent heart disease. Taking many steps, as in walking, is a key to a healthier lifestyle. As I mentioned, physical inactivity doubles the risk of heart disease. That's why we also stepped up and out during National Walking Day on April 1st. We partner with the American Heart Association and St. Francis Hospital in Charleston to help kick off this national call to action event. Employees came to work with sneakers and took at least 30 minutes out of their day to get up and walk. We realize it can be hard to find time to walk during the day with our busy schedules, but even taking the stairs can do wonders for your health. Walking 30 minutes a day for five days a week can help reduce the risk of heart disease, contribute to weight loss, lower cholesterol, and steady blood pressure. We want everyone to start a walking routine, so we walked to let everyone know we're in this together. It's our hope events like these will encourage all West Virginians to adopt a heart-healthy lifestyle. When we come back, we're going to switch gears a bit and hear from a survivor of child abuse, his journey, and how you can make a difference. 